Even though we've begun to reduce the amount of energy we use in buildings, we'll have to go much farther and much faster if we are to avoid irreversibly altering the atmosphere, climate, and global ecology. Fortunately, techniques already exist that can help us leave an opening for our habitat's regeneration. Power plants burn a third of the fossil fuel in the world. They make a third of the resulting carbon dioxide, and also, by the way, a third of the nitrogen oxides and two-thirds of the sulfur oxides, so they cause a lot of uh, acid rain as well as threatening the climate. Well, as it happens, we have technologies on the market for more efficient uh, buildings, motors, lights, appliances, equipment of all kinds that can save at least three-quarters of the electricity we're now using while providing the same or better services. And it turns out that it costs several times less to save three-quarters of our electricity than to fuel existing coal-fired power plants, even if building them costs nothing. Efficiency is cheaper than coal. And therefore, when you substitute efficiency for coal, you're reducing <coughs> uh, threats to the climate and the environment, not at a cost, but at a profit. I'm Tom Bartels. There are four main issues in sustainable architecture. First, there is the planning and design issue. Next is the embodied energy and resources in materials used for buildings and infrastructures. Third is the issue of energy and resources used in the operations of buildings. And finally, sustainable architecture requires the holistic or complete integration of factors such as setting, health, recycling, and reuse.